The storm may have subsided for over eight hours on Friday in Africa's largest lake by surface area, Lake Victoria. But day three in Kindu Bay, Homa Bay County, after news that tens of fishermen were trapped in the lake and the family comes face to face with the heartbreaking reality that their loved one was no more. On the 20th of August 2012, the late Moses Odungu, a fisherman, is said to have set out on a voyage from Kisumu to Kindu Bay. Ejani, his sister Selina Ching, says he has embarked on for as long as she can remember, but this time around, he never made it. His life jacket was spotted near his boat, marooned by water hyacinth, a weed which has almost completely choked this freshwater lake. Eighty-four other fishermen aboard 21 boats were caught up in the storm, just like the late Odungu on the 29th of August. They were on a fishing expedition, one that went wrong. Some managed to find their way, others were unlucky. We struggled and maneuvered our ways in the morning, today morning. We struggled and we really suffered and we drank some dirty water so that we are suspecting that we might be infected. The lake was clear before the storm, but the strong winds blew the massive weed in the direction of their path, choking the lake and making movement impossible. On Friday morning, there was a ray of hope after word went round that military helicopters had been dispatched to boost the rescue operation. The long wait ended when a Kenya Wildlife Service helicopter arrived at around 2.30 p.m., making sure that the fishermen, who have not had a meal for days, get something to eat. 44 fishermen were rescued and 40 others still unaccounted for. It is not clear whether they made their way to the shore, but their fears they could spend another night trapped in the lake. Cannot also be able to do the fishing now until this weed maybe change the direction to go to another distribution area. For communities living around Lake Victoria, the lake is the only source of livelihood. This, they say, is an ecological disaster. Judicos Gay, Citizen Weekend.